For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. So, not real big on paying bank fees? Well, that's okay. It means you're smart with your money and you know how to get a good deal. You're a credit union kind of person. And Communication Federal is your kind of credit union. In fact, Pay Me Checking puts real money right into your account every time you use your Visa debit card, online or in stores. Pay Me Checking, the free account that pays you only from Communication Federal Credit Union. Electricity, that's what we've been about since 1936. Since then, Cimarron's mission of bringing electricity to its members has been nothing short of successful. But over the years, it's become more than that. It's about powering our neighbors' heating in the winter, keeping the lights on at the ball field, and keeping your phones charged to capture those special moments. We are proud to be part of your community. Thank you for being part of Cimarron for all of these years. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Ready to get back in the game? Great news. The movement experts at Physical Therapy Central can help you find relief and results and keep you off the sidelines. With over 30 convenient locations across Oklahoma City and beyond, contact PT Central today at ptcentral.org to see a physical therapist. From Daniels Field in Perry, you found the Scordal High School football game of the week. Tonight, the homestanding Maroons take on the Tonkawa Buccaneers. Hi, it's Tom Nelson. Another sultry Friday night for high school football. Perry back home tonight, uh, trying to get the taste out of their mouth of last week's 38-6 loss at Luther. It'll be a challenge. Tonkawa brings a lot of talent back from last year's 10-win team. They got off to a good start last week. They beat Newkirk in a shootout, 46-31, in a game that probably gave Tonkawa's legendary defensive-minded coach Mike Kirtley a case of indigestion. Tonkawa is 1-0. Perry 1-1 as non-district play continues in Week 2 
of the high school football season. Here they come. The Buccaneers and the Maroons are coming up on the Scordal High School Football Game of the Week. This is game time. Neptune Game Time creates a high energy game day atmosphere that your players and fans will love. Every song in our database is 100% lyric safe, which means you can stop screening music for good. Game Time also provides custom messaging to help you promote your upcoming events, concessions, and event specific announcements. And it gives you the opportunity to sell sponsorships on your station that will generate revenue for your athletic department. Amp up your game day with Game Time. Dr. Devin Nightingale is your chiropractic choice in North Edmond with easy access from Cashin, Guthrie, Luther, and all the Oklahoma City surrounding areas. As a former college athlete, Dr. Nightingale understands the importance of a fully functioning body to gain that competitive edge. Also certified in prenatal and pediatric treatments, Dr. Nightingale sees all types of patients, ranging from two weeks old to 97 years old. We offer conservative treatments to get you back in the game, whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional athlete. So give us a call at 405-471-5565 for a free consultation today. We are back with you in Perry. Daniels Field, Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorst, the Scordal High School football game of the week, Tonkawa and Perry. Perry 1-1 one one on the season. Head coach Travis Cole hosting Mike Kirtley, the legendary coach at Tonkawa and the Buccaneers. Opening kick is taken on the run by Andrew Cuckoo, and he'll be tackled at the 10 yard line, he was going horizontal and not vertical, that's never a good thing. Yeah, great play there by Lucas Keith to make the tackle. So first down and 10 for Perry. They will start this drive right at the 10 yard line as we are underway on a 96 degree night in Perry. Quarterback for the Maroons. We're gonna see a couple of them tonight. Jackson Cunningham and Bronson Boer. And it looks like it will be Boer getting the start. And the shotgun snap. Put the man in motion. Quick Ooh. hitter to the near side is incomplete. Well, so Boer last, or this season, last week, or his last two weeks, 6 of 13 passing for 107 yards. No touchdowns and a pick. Pretty good rushing numbers for Boer. Six carries, 61 yards rushing, and a touchdown. He's averaging over 10 yards a carry. Jackson Cunningham has thrown the ball a little bit more this season, but he doesn't run it as much as Boer has so far. Second down and 10, and out of the gun. Handoff this time. Look for some running room right up the middle. Picking up about three or four. It's Andrew Cuckoo. He's their leading rusher, and he will gain four. Tackle made by Dominic Grime. So the gain of four makes it third down and about six. Ball resting at the 14-yard line. As Perry wants to move the chains, they don't want to go three and out to start. From the gun, back to throw this time. Boer, flush to his right, looks for a little bit of running room, and he'll pick up the first down. He's tackled right out the stick, about a half a yard past. He needed six. He picked up six and a half, first down. Like I said, he is the running quarterback so far we've seen this season. Mark the ball right at the 20-yard line. So give him a gain of six. First down and ten. Lots of sunshine, lots of heat tonight in Perry. Looks like the weather forecast for next week. We begin to see maybe get rid of the summer temperatures, a little more like uh, football weather, hopefully. Right side, Boer again for a yard or two. For he was tripped up, he'll gain a yard to bring up second down and nine. So a couple of runs by Bronson Boer as he was stopped by Lucas Keith. We'll call his name a lot. Lucas Keith, second on, or actually tied for the team lead on tackles a week ago, had eight in their win over Newkirk. It's second down and nine after the one-yard gain. Two wide to the near side. And a tight end to the right. A little handoff. Give near side. Trying to get out to the edge is Cuckoo. And he'll be strung out. And one thing we're seeing is Tonkawa's team speed getting to the edge. Cuckoo had nowhere to go. Yeah, that was Duval that time who stretched it out. Nice play to get him out of bounds. But it all starts with the big defensive end there, uh, Dominique Grine on the edge. 
a loss of about five or so. Take it back, a loss of two. And it will be third down and almost 12. Back to throw, looking for some time. And to the near sideline is the ball caught. It is. Did he get a foot down? He did. A catch was made by Matthew Larkin. And for Larkin, his first catch of the, uh, of the year. As he'll pick up first down yardage. Now to the 32-yard line, a gain of 13. So the 13. The jet sweep and trying to turn it right and finding some running room is Bentley Balderson. Balderson out up to the about the 23 or the 33 yard line. Picks up a gain of one to bring up second down and nine. So second down and nine. The ball resting at the 33 yard line. This drive started back at the 10 yard line. Here comes the seventh play of the drive. Three to the near side, one to the far side, and handoff up the middle. They stretch the field and spinning and being hammered. Tackled from behind is Keith, or tackling from behind is Keith. The carry by Cuckoo for a gain of one to bring up third down and eight. Not a whole lot of running room so far, but big pass completion on the last sequence got him the first down. They'll need to look that way again. It's third down and eight. First quarter action, 9.15 to play in the first quarter. On third and eight. Boer rolling to his left. The left-handed quarterback wants to run. Cuts it back to the middle of the field. He'll get the first down again out to the 44, picking up 11. Tackled by Dalton Pierce, but not before the first down. And Bronson Boer doing a nice job on this opening drive to keep the chains going. Yeah, great decision there. He didn't have anything in the passing game and tucked it down and got 10 for a first down. So first down and 10. Now the ball resting at the Perry 44-yard line. Here at Daniels Field on a Friday night. Right up the middle. Cuckoo to the 50. Picking up about six on first down. And that's the one thing you want to do is stay on schedule. They've been a little bit off schedule. Had to get big plays on third down so far on this drive. But that time they pick up five on first down. I mean, this is the, a great first drive for Perry. Exactly what the doctor ordered here, obviously. Getting yourself some momentum taking some time off the clock. Obviously, you want to get points here, but a great first drive to open it up. Yeah, Cuckoo, the leading rusher on this team so far, coming in 34 carries for 114 Fumble. yards. Oh, and ball was knocked down at the line of scrimmage. They're going to say, they'll say it was not an incomplete pass. They will say it was a loss. Fumble. So a loss back to the 49-yard line or the 46-yard line, excuse me, a loss of three. So third down and long again, third down and seven. They're two for two converting third downs on this drive. Left-handed quarterback looks right. Ball is caught right side, and a first down for Cuckoo. Andrew Cuckoo with the catch and the run inside. Tonkawa territory inside the 45-yard line down to the 43-yard line. So a gain of 11 on the pass completion. And Cuckoo with his sixth catch of the season and his longest catch of the year. First down and 10. Boer to throw. Right side looks deep. Has a man. Nice and the catch, catch is made inside the 15-yard line. Waylon Carson, his... Favorite receiver, his so the hookup for 30 yards for Waylon Carson. That's his second big catch of the year. He had a 39 yarder a couple weeks ago. There's a sack now behind the line of scrimmage as Boer is chased down and tackled. 
And coming up with the sack is Lucas Keith. And for Keith, that's his fourth tackle for loss this season. So they'll move the ball back to the 17, a loss of four. Thirteenth play of the drive, and now we've got a timeout. We'll take a break with them. 6.49 to play in the first quarter. First drive of the ball game has been a good one for Perry, but can they convert and get some points? We'll take a break and be right back. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle. Anger, anxiety, worry, and disbelief. These are normal emotions to feel with an unplanned pregnancy. You have options, and you are not alone. Hope Pregnancy Center in Alva is a safe, confidential, and compassionate place to land. Hope offers free pregnancy testing and ultrasound, and you will be provided education for all your options. Remember, you aren't alone. We can help with hope. Visit thinkunpregnant.org. That's thinkunpregnant.org. So the Maroons started this drive back on the 10-yard line. Off the opening kickoff, they've now driven it down inside the 20. It will be second down at about 15, back at the 18-yard line. It's the quarterback, Boer, left side, turns it up and will get down to the 15-yard line, picking up about four, or about three or so. And now another third and long situation. This time third down and 12. Ball resting right at the 15 yard line. As the Maroons in their home maroon uniforms, maroon helmets, maroon tops, maroon pants with white trim. Third down and 12. They'll run it again. Cuckoo to the 15 to the 10 and he is tripped up. And that's a first down saving tackle made by Ryan Morgan. And Ryan Morgan's a player we didn't know if he would play tonight. He was injured last week. He hurt his ankle, but he is out there playing both sides of the ball. He's the starting quarterback as well. What a great job blocking downfield by the wide receivers for the Maroons that sprung that play to get more yardage. Well, so now it's fourth down and eight from the near hash. Boy, this long drive, Perry really would like to get points here and not turn it back over. Boer looking right now, flush left, and he's in trouble. Throws it away, and it's deflected away inside the five-yard line. This drive will come to an end. Once again, Ryan Morgan made the nice defensive play, slapping it away. So Perry comes up empty on their drive, and Tonkawa will take over on downs. Let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That was a 15-play drive that came up empty. So Tonkawa will take over first down and 10, right at the 10 yard line. And this drive will start with 5.36 to play in the first quarter. Quarterback for Tonkawa is Ryan Morgan, 11 of 18 for 225 yards passing last week, three touchdowns and a pick. Lucas Keith, their leading rusher, 11 carries, 66 yards, averaging six yards per carry. And on first down, it's Clayton Lopeman with the carry. Kylan to Jr., 5'10", 175. It's a one-yard gain, second down and nine. Clayton Lopen, a couple of long touchdowns last week, an 89-yard kickoff return and an 85-yard pass reception for a touchdown off a deflected pass. Little counter this time and some running room for Peyton Keith. So Peyton Keith with the carry that time. Jackson Stoops with the stop. After the 18-yard line, it's a gain of seven. And third down at about two and a half or three. They've got to get across the 20 to move the chains. Handoff up the middle. And Peyton Keith will be, or that's Lopeman, excuse me. And he is stopped. 
short of the line to gain, short of the line of scrimmage. So no gain on the play. That'll bring up fourth down and two, and Perry gets a stop. That's a nice stop for the Maroons. Yeah, great defensive possession there for Perry. Big stop on third and short, and obviously they're going to get the ball back. Caden Duvall, the putter for Tonkawa. It'll take a nice Tonkawa bounce. Football, but it's very effective. Tommy, Perry will take over. Tommy, you enjoyed calling this game by yourself so far? Hey, you know something? I, <laughs> I know you'll get in there when you can. We're showing uh, Ella all the new toys over here. She's got a lot of new toys she has to play with. So, so the drive will start with 342 to play in the first half. No score, first quarter, a fast-moving first quarter. And right side, it's Boer to the edge, and he'll get some running room. He's going to gain about seven or eight inside Tonkawa territory. They will mark him at the 44-yard line, a gain of nine. He was tackled by Weston Freeman. So Boer with the gain of nine to bring up second down and one. If you're just joining us on that opening drive for Perry, 15 plays. They had to convert three or four. Uh, third and long situations to move the chains. Cuckoo with the carry. He won't get back to the line of scrimmage as he was tackled after about a one-yard loss. Dominic Grind with the stop. We'll talk about Third down and two. Fake the give. Now, Boer's going to be tackled. He'll turn the corner and be leveled behind the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to run back at the 47-yard line. He'll lose two. For Boer, that's his ninth carry already. It looks like Perry's going to punt. Play field position. Nine carries, 18 yards rushing for Bronson Boer. So fourth down, Matthew Larkin, the punter. Pretty good one. This is his 11th punt of the season, a 34.6-yard average. And he's put three inside the 20-yard line. He's going to do that right here. This will take a nice bounce and be downed at the 11. So first down and 10 for the Bucks at the 12-yard line. Mike Kirtley, the head coach for Tonkawa, his 21st year at the helm, a record of 172 wins and 68 losses, three gold balls since he's been coaching at Tonkawa in 2005, 2009, and the last one in 2018. Drive will start with 2.20 to play in the first quarter, still no score. Ryan Morgan, the quarterback. It was a great play there, though. That would have been a tough catch to make. You've got to have that reaction. That's a quick reaction to knock that thing down, let alone catch it and go back the other way. So second down and 10 from the 12-yard line. Morgan will throw again, and now he's Ooh. being chased and sacked back inside the 2-yard line. Rush came right up the middle. 